Hey, so this is a tutorial on how to remove a uh, strap from an inline skate that is riveted on. As you can see, these are just rivets, they're not screws, so you're gonna have to find a way to break them. Um, there's a couple different ways, but this is probably the easiest one. Um, using a drill, um, this is just a, a typical drill. Um, you know, most people have that, so they have access to that. There's other ways you can grind them off um, or like pop them, but a lot of people don't have access to like grinders or anything like that. But a lot of people do have drills. So um, this is a macro blade, but I'm sure this will work for pretty much any skate that has a buckle that is riveted on uh, across all brands and all all models. Um, this should apply to that. So. Uh, to get started, pretty much the idea is that you're going to want to drill it out and you're going to want to start as small as possible so you don't make the holes because um, once you drill these out, there's going to be holes in this cuff here. You don't want to make them too big so that the, you know, the aftermarket strap that you have, um, it has something to, to bite into. So start small. This is an eighth inch drill bit. Um, you can go a little smaller. Like I have a three thirty seconds here, uh, but you will probably need to go a little bit bigger. So this one, I believe, is a three sixteenths, which should be about big enough. So uh, to get started uh, for this skate, the back liner, like this soft part up here, can get pulled out, which makes life a little bit easier. It doesn't; it's not necessary. So if you have a skate that you can't do that with. Um, you're basically just going to kind of pull the liner out of the way to get to it. But since this skate, the liner can pull out, um, I'm just going to do that just to make my life a little bit easier. Okay, so now we got the liner out. Going to have a little bit more room to play with. You can get the drill in there a little bit easier. So just to see what it looks like, you see like these two little, these are the rivets, that's the inside of the rivet. And so what you're going to do is you're going to take the drill and you're pretty much going to go right inside the rivet. And you're going to do each one, um, pull the, the strap out of the way like that. And um, yeah, just go slow. Like I said, start small. The smaller the drill bit, the better, just so you're not going to over um, open those holes up. And then that way that the screws, this is what the screw looks like very tiny, um, that's gonna have to fit in there and seat itself. So you go too big, you might end up screwing it up. So again, start small. So here we go. So I got through it, but it still seems to be not quite big enough. So I'm gonna drill out this other one just to get a pilot hole started. So we got that. Sometimes you can kind of break it, but not this time. So let's go up in size. Like I said, I think this is a 316th. I couldn't really read it. My eyes aren't that great. Um, so pull that out of the way again. So, I mean, if you want to take a look, you can see that their holes are starting to come through, but maybe it's not quite enough. So, bigger drill bit. Let's try this one. So, we got the ring. Let me see that one there. It's kind of like the, the trim piece of it. That might be enough. It's a pot. It's getting loose. Getting there. Remember to pull the buckle out of the way. I guess it doesn't really matter if it's broken. There we go. So I pop the inside washer out. That pulls off. Straps here, if it's broken, toss it, which is probably why you're calling us up and getting a new one. Um, 
the only thing you might want to watch out, which I did on this one, luckily it's a scrap skate, is that the drill was kind of rubbing against there. So just see, I made a little bit of a dent in there. Luckily this is a trash skate, uh, but yours probably isn't. You might want to be careful about that. I probably should have worn that to begin with. So now you have your skate, the buckle's off, the strap's off. Uh, what do you do now? So if you call Rollerblade, we're going to send you a replacement strap. With those straps, you're going to get what's called a T-nut. You can see there's little teeth on there. And how that works is that that sits inside the cuff. And those teeth grip into the plastic and give the screw something to turn against. So, it's like that hole is a little bit... Actually, it could be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to take this and I'm basically just going to drill, clean that hole up a little bit. That was a 3 16th and that should be enough. So T-nut fits in the hole like that. You can kind of see it right there. And then take your new strap, line that up. there and then a screw these things are tiny very very tiny go through there and hard to do when you got cold hands get that started and as you turn ideally the teeth should be pulling that T-nut into the plastic. Like I said, those teeth should grip in and give the screw something to turn against. Sometimes you might have to give it a little coaxing, hold it with your thumb so it doesn't move and twist about on you. But once it seats, it should start seating and you want to turn it as much as you can to get it flush. I don't know if you can really see with the camera there. Uh, but just twist it until you basically can't twist no more. And what that's doing is pulling in and getting pretty flush with the skate. Um, if it's not, if it sticks out a little bit too much, you might have a little bit of a discomfort. You might have some issue with uh, something rubbing on your ankle or something like that. So it's just kind of in your best interest to get it as flush and as tight as possible. Um, so with the macro blade it has two holes so repeat as necessary with the second one um, some skates only have one um, but the macro blade has two rivets and now two screws that are holding it uh, so we get that start that one tighten that nice and down get that as flush as possible and there you go you have now put a new strap on a skate. And the nice part about this is that if this strap breaks again, screwdriver, pull it right off, put a new one on. So hopefully that's uh, pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or by all means, contact Rollerblade. All right, take care.